Good morning, this is Rosemary. How may I help you? Hi, Rosemary. Can I have two large double doubles, an angel cream donut, and a chocolate glazed donut? Anything else? That would be all. Well, they're busy in there, Paul. They can't be... I said chocolate glazed. This is what you got. Son of a... I'm going to throw it at them. Well, that was the that was that was free because we saved the dollar. <laughs> this sucks. Watch this be Bavarian cream. Paul? Yep. Where can I find hashtag sports content? Yep. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen of Hashtag Nation, uh, before you watch the video, Paul and I have a very special announcement. We've been banging the drum for this for a couple weeks, mm -hmm. and time's running out, and spaces are running out. So mm -hmm. if you want a chance to get into the uh, giveaway that we're doing with all the Bills merch and donate to a wonderful uh, foundation, um, Paul's going to give you some information on that right now. <laughs> so in the description, you're going to find our PayPal, our Venmo, and our Cash App. It, uh, we're doing your traditional football squares, right? Uh, it is $5 a square, a maximum of five squares per game. Now, we're doing the next four games, right? Yep, so you can get them. into them all right now if you want. So you got the Ravens, the Steelers, the, Steelers, the Patriots, Patriots, and, and the, the Jets, Jets okay. right? So those four games. Uh, we're giving away autographed merch. It's stuff that we got signed for you. And the great thing is it's totally random. So you don't have to pick what square you want. We're going to randomly assign them. And we're also randomly assigning the prizes. Exactly. So we don't know what you're going to win either. Nope. Uh, we're going to reveal those on our post game or if we're doing the play-by-play -play on uh, sportscaster or youtube we're going to open them right at halftime yep absolutely. Um, and we're going to send them to you and ship them to you but you want to get in now because we're trying to raise two thousand dollars for the punt foundation and spots are really starting to fly out so if you want to get in on a chance to win some pretty awesome autograph merch i'm talking a levi wallace autograph helmet a devin singletary autograph mini helmet and uh, Oliver, an Ed Oliver autograph mini helmet, a uh, harrison phillips uh mini football um trey a White. trey no trey I think we have a mini football for Trey White. I don't know. We do have a mini football for Trey We got White. a bunch of stuff. We got a bunch of stuff that we're giving away. Yeah, we but did. it's Bill's merch, and you're donating to a great cause, the Punt Foundation, mm -hmm. Brian Mormon's Punt Foundation. We're working in conjunction with 26 Shirts and uh, Dave and Adam. So we want to mm -hmm. do this. You guys have given us so much. We want to try to give back. Yep. And uh, we're and you can win some sweet Bill stuff in, yep. in the process. So. Oh, we'd love to send it to you. Absolutely. Yeah, we'd so. love to send it anywhere in the world. We don't care. We sent one giveaway to Italy. We don't care. Yeah, so we'll send it wherever, wherever you live. That's where it'll go. We <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, we yeah. sent that. Uh, yeah, the autograph Thurman Tom, uh, Thomas helmet. Yeah. Uh, so after you're done subscribing and watching the video, please click click down in the links. We mm -hmm. got PayPal, Venmo, and Cash App. And uh, let's go to the video. Yeah. So um, Tremaine Edmonds versus Josh Allen, right? Are they fighting? Two second year players. <laughs> yeah, imagine that cage match. <laughs> oh my god, I didn't want to. Um, who is a uh, who has made bigger progression? Which quarterback has 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 made the bigger leap from your quarterback? Point? Yeah, which quarterback of their respective side of the ball ah, has right. made the progression more progressions this year? I will. You know, where I'm gonna stand, Paul. Yeah, you're gonna take the quarterback. I'm gonna take the quarterback. I yeah. think that uh, obviously stop it. <laughs> oh, there's more statistics. I think so on the. Offensive side of the ball and yeah. the defensive side of the yeah, ball. Yeah, there is. But you're quarterbacking the third best defense in the NFL mm -hmm. as well. So, like I said, I'll take Allen. I think that he's been – he's progressed so much from last year. Uh, it, it's amazing to see what he was from the first six games of his career. Mm -hmm. If you took if you took Allen's – let's do this. If you took Allen's career – and cut him up into quarters. Mm. First six, he got injured. Second six, and then the two sixes this year. Yeah. Oh my God. You want to talk about the progression of a player? Right. I might have to go look and do a deep dive of the stats. Of that. Oh man. Listen, you got episodes to cut up. I think you forgot what post production life is like. You got you got work to do. I'm not about that life anymore. The post production life. The post production life. Nice knowing you, everybody. <laughs> So you're gonna you, you say Edmonds progressed uh, more than uh, yeah Allen's I think or? Edmonds has has progressed a little bit more than Allen yeah in in that respect because I look at it this way right so I think Allen has had a lot more help than Edmonds has had 
Okay, so you take a look at what they've done to try and help Allen along, right? Yeah. They brought in Brown and Beasley, right? Who'd the Bills bring in on defense? Who no. haven't they brought in? The Bills' defense? Yeah. I mean, you look at Oliver, the line. Oliver Johnson. Oliver, Kevin Johnson, right? Neither of them starting, okay? Neither of them are starters. Corey Lugit. Not a starter. Right? You're so looking at starters across what, the board. What you're and saying is, though, it's kind of counter It's kind of counter to what I'm trying to talk about. Because mm-hmm. Allen, had to get, had, Allen had to get used to new guys coming in. Mm-hmm. Edmonds still had the same guys there right. that he was comfortable with. Right, but what I'm saying is they've done more to help Allen than they have with Tremaine. They've expected Tremaine to pick it up. What did you have to help? Their defense was disgusting. Their, def- their defense was disgusting. Yeah, I agree yeah. with you. But you know that the way this is going, right, if you look down the road, you look at next year, right, you're likely without Lorenzo, right? Mm-hmm. You're you're likely going to have to start You'll looking at You'll have Vic Beasley, though, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> what? You love it. Barf all over you, Vic Beasley. Um... I'm going to throw up all over you, Vic Beasley. Stop it with that nonsense. Stop it. You know, with Allen, they had to move. They moved Dable up to the box. Had they not moved Dable to the box and had this offense still been where it was week four, right, would you would you really be saying that? Because I, I, I think rose-colored glasses tell you the last three games, the power of trail mix has moved this offense and made it look a lot better. I, uh, I, I really truthfully I believe am, that. I am willing to step back from what the Bills have done just over the last three games because I think that's not how you measure the team. I mean, they played 12 games. Yeah. And you got to see. But I'm talking about the pure pro- – we're just talking about pure progression of this kid mm-hmm. and what he's been able to do. Yeah, you had to add some weapons for him. Yeah, you had to get some linemen for him. You had to do a lot of different things for him. But that all being considered, he still had to perform. He still has right. to do a job. Mm-hmm. And looking over the past three games – um, just statistic wise, since Dable's been you know eating trail mix up in the booth, sixty seven percent completion percentage, like six hundred seventy yards passing, one hundred fifty five yards rushing. I mm-hmm. mean, he, and he's accounted for uh, eight touchdowns. Yeah. So I don't think anybody would have guessed that in a three game stretch he would have those numbers. Mm-hmm. Now you look at Edmonds; he's been more consistent than Allen. You haven't yeah. seen. You there's don't not see this, gaps. and then like yeah, there's this. not massive gaps just, in this game. He's just solid. Well, I think I think, I think Edmonds allows Milano to basically be playing free safety of that linebacker group. You don't think it's the other way around? No, I don't think so. You don't think having Milano there helps Edmonds? You saw no, the one I Miami think, game when Milano wasn't there. I know it, it was it tough. Was tough. That was tough. But that's what I'm saying is Edmonds play. Edmonds is allowed to play aggressive. And Milano's there flying around on the back end to make things happen. Because Edmonds yeah. is a game changer, no right? Doubt. He's a game changer. No doubt. And I really want you to think about this. Go ahead and try and pass in zone coverage across the middle against Edmonds and Milano. It's not going to happen. No, you're not. You're not going to. You're not. You, they take the middle of the field away. Now, not in the run game. Different. Different conversation. Di- right. Very different. But that's not on Edmonds. I don't put that on him. Not Edmonds. all of it. No, no, you can't put that all on Edmonds. Because you're playing a two backer set. Right. You're not playing three linebackers in a traditional 4-3. Mm-hmm. Right. So you're almost playing down. So a lot of the angles, a lot of different things that you're asked to do as far as from a linebacker standpoint is you don't have an extra guy mm-hmm. that it's going to take an extra lineman out. Right. So if you got a guard free releasing on you, the defensive tackle doesn't do his job, mm-hmm. you're – Sure. You gotta, I'm not going to say – You get sticky. I'm know? not going to say that Edmonds doesn't have things to clean up. He doesn't get off blocks. I'm not going to say Allen doesn't have stuff to right. clean up either. Yeah. But as far as progression goes, um, I'm more surprised – with Tremaine Edmonds um, because he, like, I, I remember talking about, like, his, the first half of his season last year. It was play action. Oh, Tremaine. Oh, God. He was in the <laughs> center's kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> but you can't abuse him like that anymore. No. You, you, can't get, you can't abuse him like that anymore. He'll get caught up in the wash. He'll get caught up in the wash. But, I mean, it's, it happens. That was everybody. That yeah. Keekly gets yeah. Bobby like, Wagner. They right. always guys get caught up in the wash sometimes. Yeah. It's the frequency in which they get caught up. Right. Is less and less with those with those studs. Yeah. Yeah. So you think Allen has progressed more than Tremaine? Yeah, and I'm right. It's okay. It happens every once in a while. I don't want to take your opinion. I don't want to take mine. I want to take theirs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do that. Who do you think has improved more this year, Allen or Edmonds? 